One way you always manage to piss people off is um, <laughs> breathing. You know, when you um, when someone asks a question for um, some bodybuilder bodybuilding related um, question, and they they stipulate natural status. Uh, so we got a natural one, do we? And um, so this is from Eamon Ali. Hi, can natty athlete gain muscle with low carbs? Well, I don't get with your bodybuilder why you'd want to be on low carbs unless you're carb sensitive and you've got a problem with carbs making you fat and stuff like that. I don't see why you'd want to be on low carbs. Well, you need carbs to train, give you energy and stuff like that. Look at some of these cyclists that pedal a lot. You see the amount of carbs they eat before races and days before? You talk about carb loading. Yeah. And look how they're not fat, so it's like, I just don't get this whole thing when it changed from don't have too many carbs and let's get carbs out all together and go to the old keto and throw in all the fats and stuff yeah. like this. So, you know, just stick to the base I did in the old days and like I keep saying, Bertel Fox, Sergio Oliva, Arnold, Lou Ferrigno, you can go through a list of them, the thickness and dense muscle they had because they fucking train hard, they ate the basic foods, protein, carbs and fats, they trained for a couple of hours, it wasn't like a 45 minute workout like guys today have and back then too the drug usage was very minimal, the basic deckers, dianabols, they didn't have all these growth hormones and insulin designer drugs and peptides and stuff and those guys had the freaky mass better than guys today, the dense thickness they had so this whole crap about people trying to design new things and different carbs here, different carbs there and you know this last few days I've been just speaking to Gary Wright just to keep him just been asking me a question because after the show we did in New York a week ago, he was feel like he was going to pull out of this show, but I told him to stick with it and stuff, and just been helping him with his diet and some of the stuff that he's been doing. I'm just like, why would you do that? And yeah. you know, the supplement side, I'm just like, you don't need that. Cut that out and do this sort of thing. So the he did it like a couple of days ago, and he said today he's looking better and he's feeling better and stuff like that. So. He's got the Toronto show this weekend, so hopefully he does good. But yeah, just some of the stuff he's doing. I'm like, Gary, why are you doing that? It's like, you know, but he's like, well, this is what I was told, and this is what other pros are doing, and this is what they're taking. I'm like, you don't need it, trust me, you don't need it. I said, I'm not going to lead you astray just to fuck you up and this sort of stuff. <laughs> Whereas, you know, being the last week, it's hard to tell him what yeah. to do a lot because you don't want to make drastic changes to what he's been doing. But I'm just saying, next time, don't do all that, you know, yeah. come to this and that and different things. You're, overcomplicating it all because even he said that what he was doing and supplement wise and that he said he's ready to pull the pin and just throw it away just get stop bodybuilding altogether really and i said you don't need to i said just make it fun enjoy it train and yeah. stuff like that but they put so much emphasis on this dieting you're making it too technical doing this doing that and the supplement side you don't need that you don't need to be a this that or a pin cushion and stuff you just you know just go back to the basics you know so hopefully like i said he'll get that fire back and do good this weekend, so because like I said, he's got some good muscle mass on him. He's, the main thing is, like I told him, because he's not tall, he's got the good density. Just come in shredded. Yeah. I said on stage, if you can come in shredded, you're going to look that much bigger. Forget the size game. Forget trying to hold on to what his thing. Just get leaner, and you're going to look bigger. So yeah, hopefully, I think that he's trying. You're starting to stress today because he was stuck at the airport going from New York to Canada. I said, just walk around, do whatever. Don't let it get to you. I said, your head's going to be your worst enemy. Yeah. So yeah. Stay focused. So when you say it was bad as far as the, did it surprise you the amount and variety of things? Yeah, yeah like I said, you get surprised the amount, the variety, the frequency and stuff like that, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. And they, they probably think no. that it's um, no. <laughs> working together, but like other it's medications. Like tell people, yeah, it's like anything, it's like, there's been no things, you, you can say, okay, this does this and this does that, but like I said, that's why when I did it, I'd take three different things and then a couple of weeks, you know, I'd swap it for another three. When you've got people who are taking six, seven different drugs, maybe only two or three of those drugs are working. It's like I said, when yeah. I did the 97 I man, I took T3, Clenbuterol and Stanazol. That was it, the yeah. credit for that show. But you'll have guys taking Tren, Propionate, some sort of test, and yeah. Enovar, and all Provir, and they'll be like, all these things, I'm like, you're just pumping too much shit in. You don't need it. You yeah. know. Okay, a little bit this might work, a little bit that might work, but you just you, you just overkill. It's just yeah. overkill. So you like me sitting down at dinner time and having a steak, having a chicken breast, having a piece <laughs> yeah, of fish. Yeah, it's like yeah. you don't need every type of yeah, protein yeah. there is. So yeah. 
just have one good base of protein and then your vegetables and stuff like that. So the same when I said it comes to drugs, just have one main thing that you want to use, whether it be the deck or the test, the windstraw, and then maybe have another two little ones to go with it. Don't have this whole big fucking smorgasbord every night. <laughs> so, but, yeah. Oh, that's good. Good that someone's taken a more healthy approach and mm -hmm. listening. Yeah, so I said, hope you also. He seemed very appreciative and listen, I spent like probably two hours chatting to him, so. Oh. Yeah, Lee, helping Australian bodybuilders. <laughs> <laughs> Just putting something back into the sport. Mm-hmm.